Smells real good. You know me. Brother love his candles. Went to Marshall's. Racked up on a bunch of them. But that's just how just how I do. You know. I know part of it has to do with my spirituality. The other half has to do with the fact that I just like how it's, I like my place to smell a certain way. And, uh, why not? So how's everybody doing? Doing all right? I hope so. I want to welcome those who have joined a part of the family. There's no words that I can express, but thank you, because it keeps me humble, because I know that I'm not the only one that feels the way I do. What, you may be asking, is the right to be unconditionally happy. So how's your week? Sidestep the negativity, grounding your feet, building and fostering the courage to get to to claim you. I hope so. Now I know for those that are on social media, we've had a lot of events this week. The Pope visiting the United States, speaking in front of uh, Congress, the UN, and on top of that, we've got the fourth tetrad. Yes, you know it is. We have a solar and lunar eclipse in conjunction with a blood moon. So you got people all over, sur over sur uh, social media and they are aware. Their senses are heightened and it seems like there is this dooms and gloom mindset that is being projected right here well I feel that if this is the dawning of the end of times wouldn't it be more wouldn't that be the you can't get no clearer than that sign of hey let's take this moment and focus on the things that matter. I mean, it's kind of extreme, don't you think? Should have been doing that all along. But see, I know there's that thing called life, right? I understand. But I see your worth. That's right. That's not no just some catchphrase. We're talking about your life. Yours. So it's very important that if, look, I'm not going to sit up here and try to do a speech because it doesn't work that way. Whatever he wishes for me to convey, because I'm a vessel just like, I'm a spiritual vessel just like you, falls from my mouth to touch the intended ear, the, t the intended heart. This message is for you. Now, yeah, so we got this blood moon that will be in effect in less than 22 hours. They say tentatively um, quarter after 10 p.m. later on tonight, referring to the 27th, or actually that Monday, 28th. So more importantly, How much motivation do you need 
to put the focus back on your life. Hmm? I know there's somebody right now, you think you are at your lowest point. You think that no one understands you. You think the only time that people want to be bothered is when they're doing this. Or they're trying to lay on top of you. I know I'm being a little brash, but let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. Now, you got a little angst in your spirit. Now, you're starting to feel that momentum in your spirit that you're tired of being tired. And you just want clarity. Well, I believe this blood moon, <coughs> and historically, because it's the fourth tetrarch, this will never occur in your existence ever again. So the last one they had was like almost 400, 500 years ago. So it is significant in that matter. This is the time you need to connect back to you. This is the time you need to have the courage to go in that emotional backpack called your emotions and start looking at those pains that's got you shackled in your life. Because I got a feeling that somebody is about to step into their life. They're about to claim the life that once was. I know you know what I'm talking about. Someone in the back of their mind is saying, I remember the day before I met you and what it felt like. And you're starting to have that longing of yourself resonate. Now, you got to understand, if you don't take care of yourself first, you can't expect your environment to do the work. Because, see, energy out is energy in. So it's imperative that you take care of what's needed, not what is wanted. But I know there's some of you right now, you say, well, Gerald, if I do that, then, you know, I get a guilt trip. Uh, um, you know, they, they make me feel like I'm selfish. Listen, that ain't nothing but an opportunist in your midst. Because if they loved you, why are they giving you so much grief? They should be there standing with you because they want to inspire you. What's the point on investing your life in something that won't grow? Now, keep in mind, there's a thing called free will. So there's a choice. Now, I understand that fear can be crippling. Fear can distract. Fear can also divide. But I also believe this. The moment that you decide to stop lying to yourself and look at what does not work, you will find your blessing on the other side. I ain't got to tell you that. Just look back at the last crisis, the last moment that had you in influx. And you were saying to yourself, I don't know how I'm going to make it. I don't have the option of riding, of robbing, Pe <laughs> robbing Peter to give to Paul. And it's got you on a crossroads to either go within or go without. And you're afraid. Don't you realize that if it's not meant for you to have, even if you possessed it, it won't last. If you're going through something right now, y'all, it's time for you to humble yourself and have that conversation with him. 
And I know somebody right now is saying, well, Gerald, I want to have that conversation with God, but I'm afraid that everything that I've done in my past, I'm not worthy. Guess what? We're not worthy. But he loves us so much, he woke you up this morning. So if anything, that is an unconditional love and commitment from him to let you know that, hey, look, there's work still needs to be done. I need you to take that step. Little do you know that one step may be the proverbial door that will bring you one step closer to your purpose. It is 2015, y'all, and would you believe you 50% of the population on this planet do not know who they are. They are actually using the tools that they have to function through life. May it be their wit. May it be their resources. May it be their body. They're using whatever their strong suit to survive. But what about that heart? Hmm? Like the Bible says, what is a man to inherit the earth at the price of his soul? Is it worth that burden that you got? I know somebody right now, you hear what I'm saying. And you know I'm talking to you too. And you're afraid. Because you know that you got to make a decision that is going to change your life. But just know this. Whatever decision you make, if God ain't in front of it, it's not going to turn out the way that you think it is. And that connection, if it ain't blessed, it will be it will go from connection to your new lesson. So why won't you see your worth? Why won't you claim your last name? Why are you trying to keep up with the Joneses? Don't you realize the Joneses don't exist? Hmm? But you worried about what she got. But little did you know that possibly maybe behind closed doors the price was paid. Maybe behind closed doors. If you really knew what was going on you would have compassion too because you realize a price is being paid far greater. But I'm a firm believer of this, y'all. God makes a way when there is no way, even when we don't deserve it. And he keeps giving you opportunity not to punish you, but to set you up for where you need to be all alone. You know how in the last video I said there's a lot of people that have realized that they willfully and self-sabotage their own life by burning the bridges that they walk upon, only to realize that the tools and the things that they needed, which is found within them, were on the other side. And now you feel trapped. Now you're doing time in your mind. Some of y'all are waking up out of that fog and you're realizing that the person that you're sharing your bed with was a stranger and did not even deserve to hear you breathe. But because of where you were in your mindset, there was a like-minded connection. Birds of a feather locked together. And now you don't like what you see. You, there's been a lot of shock and awe going on in your environment especially these last month or so. And you've got this longing in your heart. Your throat feels like you want to close up, 
because there's truth inside you that needs to be released. And it's got you frustrated. It's got your emotions like this. You just one step, one disappointment from a breakdown. But guess what? My king, my queen. Ask yourself this. Is the loyalty that you have with your friends stronger than the loyalty that you have with that pain inside? Because you're holding on to it when you shouldn't. That is your block. That's what's holding you back. And unfortunately, there are those that can see this and won't do nothing for you. Why? Because they're, ben they're benefiting off your pain. They know that your mind ain't in the right places. That's why they got you doing things you know you shouldn't. And the question is why? Who convinced you that your life didn't matter? Who convinced you? Who sold you that bag of magic beans? Hmm? You're smarter than that. Some of you have God-given talents waiting to be untapped, but <coughs> you're not grounded. Every time that you try to focus on yourself, here come another distraction. Here comes somebody that don't have your best interest pulling you away by your emotional strings. I tell you why they do that. They can't afford for you to claim your life back. They can't afford that. Because, see, right now they think in their mind they win it. They got you doing the work. And you see it. You see it crystal clear. But yet, you still stay the course. Why? Do you like tormenting yourself? Do you like, do you have a love affair with your denial? Then why won't you unconditionally love yourself first? Those people there in your circle, I told you nothing but opportunities. And I'll prove it. You, when you were going through whatever you were going through, you, you were, they were the first person to pick the phone up. You think they were doing it because they had your back. But really what they were really doing, they were enjoying your pain as their in, entertainment. I know I'm talking to somebody. That phone rings once, you pick that phone up, and you're there. But haven't you noticed your bonds are like this? They're not like that. They're not even. Because if they were even, guess what? The same energy that you're putting out is the same energy that you should get back. But why is it not? Why is it that you're hurting and they can't give you not one tidbit of advice so that you can have a better understanding. Oh, sure. They'll appease you. Oh, yeah. But then when the fun wears out of being the supposed friend, they ain't, good. They ain't there, really. Or when the revelation of the truth comes out, they don't want to hear it. So guess what? You don't hear from them. Oh, but when that payday hit, they right at your door. When it's for something they want to do, they write it. They, they know how to get you. These are not your friends, y'all. They never were. And, you know, you hear people say karma is a bitch. No. That's a descriptive word for divine intervention. do understand that right you do understand that everything that you're going through 
was part of your life lessons. And if you're continually going through it, that means you ain't learned it. Oh, because your loyalty is to your pain? Is that it? Well, why isn't there no badges given for that? Huh? Why is that? Some of y'all walking around trying to figure out where you're going to get that next dollar. They ain't there. But when you got a couple dollars, oh, they know how to spend it. They ain't already calculated your check. And in their mind, they've already figured out how you're going to disseminate it, too. Is that fair? No. And this is how you know. They'll guilt trip you. Oh, I know I'm talking to somebody now. But these are your friends. Remember? I wish I had a way to put it in there, but I would do the sound bite. Hip hop legend, legendary group Houdini. Friends, how many of us have them? TLC, what about your friends? Well, where are they now? Where are they? You sitting in your room right now, just to shovel, shaking like a leaf. You. You need someone to give you that hug, someone to give you that kiss to say it's going to be all right. But if they was your friends, why haven't one of them, any of them, say, well, you know what? I might not have the answer that you need right now, but I'll pray with you. Oh, no, now we get morbid now, huh? Oh, we, we, we speaking on God now. We don't want to talk about God because you can't relate. That's why there's a difference between religious people and spiritual people. Spiritual people place God first in everything they do. That's why there is no fear. And when the circumstances come, guess what? They know. They become more observant. They be still. And they allow the clarity to come. See, this is how you know that your spiritual connection is not fortified. When you try to pray, you feel funny doing it. You feel that it has to have some type of structure. But just like you're listening to me right now, that's the same that he requires. He asks for you to be still. He asks for you to be humble. See, if you can't be comfortable in your own skin, how do you expect him to connect with you? Because that's the connection is going to be forged. He's not looking for perfect people. He wants you just the way you are. That's right, my man. Yeah, you made some mistakes. You had to go away for a little bit. Put you on survival mode. And you feel like the world's on your shoulders. No, nah, the world's not on your shoulders. Your purpose is on your shoulders. Are you going to stand up and claim your life back? My queens, some of y'all, all, all y'all do is dream about when the one is going to come. When is my knight in shining armor? going to reveal himself to me. First of all, he's not going to reveal you. He's not going to reveal himself to you. God is going to reveal him to you when you do the work. Because he's going to be original and one of a kind. That's why it's called a blessing. 
But if you're spending more time trying to figure out where the next shakedown is going to occur, how you can get over, how you can be sneaky, well, guess what? Just as he requires for us to be still, he does that too. Because he's not going to turn around and open a door to the rest of your life for you to mess it up. He's not doing that. Why would he? Just like your blessing. He's not going to let the one come into your life so that you'll squander it. He would rather sacrifice your blessing to someone that will appreciate it and be fruitful. How can you expect to grow with someone if you both won't even be still enough to walk together? I know that needs to go out to somebody. I'm telling you something that you already know. How many of those guys you got to go through? How many disappointments and shame do you have to embrace? Aren't you getting tired of having to get up oh, in the wee morning to go take that shower because he did rolled off of you with a fresh batch of lies? See, the one that's going to be in your life he or she is going to be a spiritual person. Their job is to protect your heart and inspire you. They are going to be the ones that are going to cultivate your existence. And they're going to show you the other side of your life. That's their job. They're being prepared for that now. And yes, my queens, yes, my kings, that image that you have in your mind will be surpassed because when the work is done, they will surpass your wildest dreams. But I know there's somebody saying, well, Gerald, that's all fine and dandy, but I, 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 I long for a loved one. Let me tell you something. Like I said, when you decide to get real with yourself and plant those seeds in your life, you just got one step closer to the person that's going to bring in your harvest. I know I'm talking to someone. See, this is something that kept people don't understand. Some It's funny because society has a breed of kept people out there that they think that, well, you know what? As long as I look a certain way, talk a certain way, as long as my sexual prowess is on high, I ain't got to worry about all the other stuff because I will ride the coattails of whoever is in my life. But what you real, what you fail to realize is this. There's no blessing in being a kept person. That is nothing but a self that is nothing but a self inflicted prison sentence. I ain't gotta tell you that. What was that? Medea's Medea's family reunion? Some of y'all living that life, living that life, and y'all got to put a mask on in front of everybody in your environment to portray that you got it going on. But deep down inside, you broken more than a thousand people, a thousand pieces. Every time behind closed doors, you just wait for the phone to ring. You wait for someone to knock on the door to take you out of the misery that you're in. Because you know, while they're there, they're on borrowed time. So is your happiness too. Because you know, as soon as that door closes, it gets real. But you got to own that. Because you put yourself on that path long ago. See, God wasn't in that. Mm-mm devil was. There he was. He turned around and he tested you. 
couple times to see where your loyalty was. He wanted to see your worth. And you put your physical prowess, you put a price tag on your soul. You said, well, you know what, Gerald, that's okay. As long as I got these big old titties and these hips. Oh, they'll come. What you're witnessing is what we know is John's. But really, they're nothing but little boys and little girls and grown people's bodies. And you'll come to see this. Whatever it took for you to get them is the same thing that you'll have to do unconditionally. Can't be weary in that. But I'll tell you what, because God loves you so much, you know what happens? Whatever they brought to the table, you'll start to see that dwindle away to a point that you have no choice but to look at things from the littlest to the smallest level. You'll start to see the things that they lack. But because of what they were bringing to the table was nothing but a sweet distraction. I mean, what do you tell yourself when you see that bruise on your body? What do you tell yourself when you're in the shower? What do you tell yourself when you're by yourself and you say, I just wish I had five minutes of clarity so I can figure out which way to go? Why don't you go home? Hmm? Why don't you humble yourself and ask for help? But you know what you really need to do? Is you need to be honest with yourself and ask yourself what you need. Ask your heart that, even though the heart can be deceived. It already tells you what you need. Why do you think you're hearing those voices in your head? You're not crazy. That's your spirit trying to talk to you and say, I need you to save me. I need you to stand up. I need you to ground your feet. I need you to speak your truth. And see, I know that's a problem for some of y'all because if you did have the courage to speak your truth, you already know that there will be a price. The price would be your environment would drastically change because you know that you didn't you didn't forge that. They did. So they did the work and they ushered you into that environment. What makes you think that they won't do that with someone else. You didn't been with them forever and a day, but yet you don't see no ring. But you're saying, well, we got a we got a relationship that, you know, we have our struggles, but I know I know he has my best interest. If he had your best interest, why wouldn't he change your last name? If she had your best interest, why would she be fearful to bear her soul to you? But you got to turn around and play Sherlock Holmes to quench that fear that's inside your mind because you know that something's not right. But ain't it ironic? You the only one to see that. No. Nah. Even wolves sometimes wear sheep's clothing. You need to see your worth. So, we got this blood moon tomorrow in conjunction with a lunar eclipse. And I would like to see it as if you've never taking the time to have that conversation with the Most High. I know him as my Lord Jesus Christ, but I know 
This is all about the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. If you allow yourself to connect within your heart. See, some of y'all are afraid because y'all have had these emotional plea bargains and you realize that if you make that one concession, it's going to be like dominoes. That's going to open up something else, and that's, that action is going to open up something else, and that's going to have clarity on the front of it because you're going to see what occurred to put you where you are right now. Look inside. Look at the things that you've done. Look at the things you have not. And ask yourself why you're not worth someone being authentic. So you can't be authentic if you lie. I'm sorry. It don't work that way. So if you're lying to yourself, guess what? Your environment is lying right back. Energy out is energy in. So I'm just going to say this. I believe that this lunar event that's going to occur tomorrow, make that the moment that you pray. Ask God to remove you or remove the things that are blocks that are causing you pain. And watch is revealed. Watch what's revealed in your life. Watch. Like my shirt say. Why can't you? It's your life. Don't you love yourself? Ask yourself. Can you even answer that? Do you love you? Because if you did, why you hurt? I know somebody's saying, well, Gerald, I hear what you're saying on that note, but the but my pain is coming indirectly from someone I'm connected with. Let me tell you something. The two greatest gifts God gave us was unconditional for us to be able to unconditionally love ourselves, and the second one was free will. So that's a choice. Can people change? Yes, they can. But once again, that's a choice. But if they don't see your worth, they're not going to be truthful because, once again, we're talking value. Your life is priceless. So if you've got people in your environment that can't even give you the least, those ain't your friends. They're not. Not at this moment. So I ask each and every one of you, when you pray, ask God to give you clarity and watch what he shows you. Ask him to give you inner peace because I know some of y'all right now, your heart feels like someone yanked it out, slammed it on a wall, and then kicked it into the street to get ran over. And you hurt. It feels like a death. Let me tell you something. You embrace your emotions. The worst thing that you can do is to turn around and compartmentalize the way you feel like you did with all those other things. Because guess what? Even Erica Badu said it right when she when she did Bag Lady. Eventually, your burdens are going to get too heavy. I know I'm talking to somebody. Somebody right now is living in a house that ain't yours. And it's beautiful. And you know that if you don't play your position, you're going to be up out of it. You're going to be out there. And they have been bold enough to tell you this. They don't have your best interest. What they investing in is what's found between your legs. Some of y'all is what's found in your wallet. But ultimately, it's nothing 
but a shell. Don't you realize, I don't care if you're the greatest actor in the world, sooner or later, that mask going to come off. And you got to be prepared for what's on the other side of it. Some of y'all seen it already. Y'all done heard things. They done told you stuff that was so out of pocket. And you're like, what? What? Maya Angelou said it best. When a person shows you who they are, believe them. Listen, I know somebody's saying, well, Joe, you know, when you're in the heat of an argument, you say things that slip. But guess what? If they loved you, when you cool down, or even not, if they do a, a second guess before they come out their mouth to apologize for what came out of it, they meant it. They meant that. And I'm going to tell you something, too. You reap what you sow. Because I know there are going to be some people watching this video right now, and they're going to think, well, you know what? I hear what you're saying, but I'm chilling. And they're walking through life. They might as well be walking through life blind because these people won't take accountability for their lives. So guess what? They've made a conscious, a conscious choice to be disconnected from their emotions. Some of y'all know them as narcissists. Narcissists are nothing but demons. I ain't got to tell you that. Some of y'all been married for a long time, and they put a show on in public, but behind closed doors, it's like the devil incarnation. No, that's nothing but a demon that, open, that was let in your house. For those people that are looking, are going through strange stuff, do yourself the best favor. Go get you some white sage and burn it. Get you some white sage. And whatever agenda they got, if it's negative, they won't be around you. They won't. The cedar, the sage, they're blessed. It's written, in, it's in the Bible. They speak about it in the Bible. And if I had enough time to do the research before I made this video, I would show you exactly where it's written. But just know this. Your life is priceless. And there's no price enough that when it comes to your heart. Yeah, you're going to have, have scars. Yeah, you're going to have bruises. But you should have peace. And let's flip it. Some of y'all just went to work today and came home, and they ain't there. Just know this. As long as you take accountability or turn every stone in your life and done everything, go with courage, go with peace of mind. Because what you're seeing is a revelation that these people never saw your worth and God divided them from you. Now, once again, people can change. But guess what? Even the best fake eventually becomes exposed. So, you want to make a decision on your happiness? Or do you want to make a decision on your environment? Because guess what? It's fake. If you're spending one day without a smile on your face, a joy in your heart, you're doing time in your mind. And ain't nothing, that ain't nothing but a stronghold. And yes, I, I say this out of love, but I'm going to keep it 100. Why do you think they use the term karma all the time? I keep telling you, karma is nothing but another word used for divine intervention. Nothing happens by choice, by chance. It happens by choice, free will. And I'll tell you this. You may never see it, 
but you're going to feel it. Those who have wronged you, see, the, the most, the, the worst thing you can do with somebody that shows you love is to be malicious because guess what those people you wrong you just fastened a binding tie through your spirit and you know what's going to happen somebody in the intended time is going to do that same thing and guess what's going to happen out of that you're going to get a whole lot of wisdom. But more or less, you know what's going to come from that? You're going to learn what empathy is. You're going to learn what compassion is because clarity is going to show you and you will fully understand what that person may have felt. And guess what comes out of that? Shame. Guilt uneasiness why you think your hair turning gray right now I know I'm talking to somebody you gotta constantly spend that beautiful that that hard earning money to keep your hair looking a certain way you front why you front why if you only would just take a second look in the mirror and and look at what makes you you. Every mark, every curve, every dimple, every blotch, that's you. Just like you have one set of prints. Because there's only one you. One spirit, one mind, one body. That's you. But if you won't fight for you, and you just laying down just to stay afloat, you're not living. You're just existing. And what's an existence without a purpose? <coughs> what is it? I know I'm talking to somebody. Some of y'all don't even have the courage to walk away from toxic people. You might as well put chains on your ankles and your hands because they're not going to change. But I know somebody said, well, Jerry, I thought you said people can change. Yes, they can. But if you don't respect yourself, I know I'm talking to somebody now. Guess what you just sent to them? You just basically non-verbally said, well, I guess I don't need to change my behavior because if it ain't broke, why fix it? But God makes a way when there is no way, and God gets tired. And sometimes God will say, okay, all right, I'll show you. And you know what he does? No, he don't throw no curse. I know somebody's saying that. Everything that he was protecting you from, he gets out of your way because you basically, your ego and pride is saying, well, I don't need What's life? I don't need God to navigate my life, my existence. So he turns around and says, okay, prove it. And he gets out of the way. And all those setbacks, all those disappointments, all those pains now are your reality. And we know that is a spiritual storm. And let me tell you something, y'all. I done been through mine. And some of y'all are in yours now. I'm going to tell this. I'm going to wrap this up. Keep the faith. You're just in your valley right now. God's got something so special for your life. So take note. Take heed of what is being revealed. And have the courage to change it. Ask yourself why. Have that conversation with yourself. But I will always say this, and I'm going to wrap this up. You know this ain't been working for you. You've been hiding it. 
You've been using options to escape your day to day. Some of y'all got that side love. Some of y'all got a love affair with the with that bottle. Some of y'all don't feel alive unless you're getting high. Why do you think the government is pushing so hard to legalize everything? Why do you think they're doing that? Yes, to make money. But B, they don't want you to be clear up here. They don't want you to. They don't want you to. They want you to be like the rest of the sheep. Just to go with the flow and dance your life away. Spend your life on your back. How? How are you going to grab your blessings when you're always on your back? And what you don't realize, sure it feels great, but imagine what the one is going to show you. I guarantee you won't even hold a candle to what Mr. and Mrs. Wrong is dishing out now. Mm -hmm. I'm asking you to love yourself more. So with this blood moon that's going to go down, get your mind right. Get your spirit right. Make this, make this the moment that you claim your life back. Because if you're spending one day without that smile, that beautiful smile, I get tired of looking at women. All your burdens are right here. You see it in your eyes. That's why they say the eyes are the window to the soul, because it's true. I can look at a person, I don't care if it's male or female, I can tell what you're doing, what you got going on in your life. I can tell, I can feel it. I can feel it. My discernment is like that. So I'm sending energy. I'm sending blessings. You know I'm going to pray for you. If I can claim my life back, imagine what you can do. God's praying for you. You know I am. I see your work. You know, Mr. Right, you know, Mr. Wrong ain't going to tell you that. And Mrs. Wrong is plotting. She plotting too. And for that, for that, for that, it helps me discern my listen how much pain you got to go through until you decide to do something different go talk to somebody talk to somebody that don't have an agenda no my queen that doesn't mean that guy that you met at the gas station because guess what all those guys that you got in your cell phone they just want to smash Mm hmm You already know that. Because your last few, <laughs> they, I ain't trying to make light, but come on now. Ain't you tired of being sore? I'm talking about your heart. Yeah, that too. All right. All right, Kings. Come on now. You can't call yourself mister until you know yourself. And until you know yourself, you won't know where you're going. Come on now. Be the exception to the rule. I challenge you guys to listen to the lyrics, the temptations. I'm the exception to the rule. Listen to those words. And if it don't resonate, I don't know what to tell you. But I would love to hear from you guys. I'd love to get some comments. Like, don't like, but the the fact that you heard is just humble enough. So, um, you going to pray tonight? Good, because I'm praying for y'all too. It's time that you get your life back. Be blessed, y'all. Bye.